Well, Eli Lilly made a big announcement today. A $4.5 billion medicine foundry set to open in 2027 in Lebanon. Leaders at Lilly tell us that they will combine drug research, development, and manufacturing all in one place. Our Jenny Runovich shows us the plan tonight, the jobs it will bring, and what this means for patients. Eli Lilly's Medicine Foundry is the fourth massive investment in Lebanon's Leap Innovation District. $4.5 billion meant to have a big impact on how the company develops drugs and therapies, starts clinical trials, and gets meds to patients at the pharmacy. Thank you all for leading and leaping our way into the future. The Medicine Foundry will combine research, manufacturing, and the most advanced technology available in a single location right here in Indiana. We're not aware of another investment like this in the world. The complex will be built on the west side of I-65. 1.2 million square feet, seven buildings, 400 new high-skilled jobs. Scientists, researchers, engineers, lab techs, a boon for Boone County. When you talk about companies you want in your community, um, Lily's at the top of that list. Lily says the speed of innovation and supply will be the game changers here. A decade ago, it took 13 years to get a medicine from testing to available. Takes half that time now. With the new medicine foundry, Lily expects to speed up drug development even more and ramp up supply when a discovery is successful. Researching new ways to produce medicines, as well as manufacturing these medicines for clinical trials uh, across the world. Well, this site will enable those types of inventions that can allow us to make two, three times as much medicine from a, the same process with chemical innovation. But this project does come with questions. People worried about the water supply, not just for the medical foundry, but the Leap District in general. Lebanon put some projects on hold because there wasn't enough water for them. Citizens Energies proposed a plan to pump in 25 million gallons a day. Local and state leaders say concerns are unfounded. Not one drip will be drained that's not accounted for. Lily would not be willing to commit and make an announcement unless they were comfortable that we would be able to supply them um, based, on, based on our plans. The state is paying for road, water and utility improvements, plus incentives tied to Lily's jobs and investment for the foundry, a project they call transformational in the science of fighting and treating disease. In Lebanon, Jenny Renovich, 13 News. Again, any new construction in Lebanon depends on getting water. As we've reported, Citizens Energy has proposed a $700 million plan to boost the water supply. But an advocacy group is saying not so fast. Today, the Citizens Action Coalition filed comments with the state against that plan. It says this proposal boils down to diverting public funds meant to help provide clean drinking water for people. So a few companies looking to build factories in a relative water desert can financially benefit.